Good morning, everyone. It is 11.04. I've been a busy bee today. Been busy on the computer. I was starting to answer comments. Then I got sidetracked with something else. Um, now I need to go down, let Madam out. She's been as good as gold over there. Can't focus because I have it on cinematic. I fluffed up this by mistake and now I can't be bothered to wet it. Um, I think it's a nice day out. I don't think it's too humid today. Let's ask Alexa and see what she has to say. Hey, Alexa, what's the humidity level? Currently, the humidity is 62%. 62, not bad. Alexa, what's the weather today? The current weather is 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Nice. Mostly sunny skies. Today, you can expect intermittent clouds with a high of 79 Oh yeah, there might be a storm. 67 degrees. About two. Traffic up here. No traffic today. Thanks, Alexa. Alexa, stop. Anyway, Ash is at Sephora. She's at Sephora today and tomorrow. I'm going to have something to eat because I haven't yet. I've had two coffees, mind, but I need something to eat now. And then I want to start packing away all the crockery in the kitchen and get that boxed up because Pete will be back again tonight and he'll take it. There we go. He'll take it to the um, storage unit. Ah. <sighs> One day, one day, one day at a time. Anyway, I have to change. I do not like the way this looks. I don't like much of anything at the moment. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so that's that. Ash gets off at 5. Pete will probably be here between 4.30 and 5. So, Luna, we have time to eat something, and then I'll get cracking. I have to ask Ashley, there's a few things in the basement that he was questioning whether I was thrown away, but they're actually Ashley's. So I need her opinion on that. Look at this, look at this. Come on. Um, yeah, so that's where we're going from now. So instead of waffling, I'm gonna love and leave you and I'll talk to you in a bit. I'm gonna change my top, don't like it. Bit better. <laughs> we going downstairs now, buddy? We gonna go outside? Yay! Okay, guys, so I figured let me have another search for homes, which I've done in Florida and here. And also now I figured let me just look at Airbnbs in the area here. $459 a night. So for the amount of time I would need it just to get through August, 10653 That's only one bedroom. I said I needed two bedrooms, 900 a night. Now there are some that are 100 a night, but if you think two and a half weeks, some are massive apartment buildings. So really, not really a feasible answer. The Bronx, Stamford, Connecticut, Congas, White Plains, Stamford, White Plains, Darianne. Uh, yeah. So basically for the amount of bedrooms I would need, two, 10,000 for two and a half weeks. I'd rather put it into four months rent for an apartment or a townhouse. Like I said, I'm checking into all avenues. There's always something going on up here. But yeah, these are, these are, I wish I could, <laughs> but I can't. And in these Airbnbs, you're not allowed to leave your dog in the place while you go, unless you get permission. But with it being somebody else's home and furniture, I'd never leave her anyway. Oh, this one's nice. I think I'll do this one. It's a home. And for the dates I put in. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. This would cost me 24000 Let me show you. <laughs> this is just for me. All right, guys, I've been looking to Airbnbs, like I said. This one is available for the time I would need it. How gorgeous is that? It would only cost me for the two and a <coughs> the two and a half weeks that would only cost me twenty four grand. It, it is. 
absolutely stunning. Let's have a look. Oh, how the other half live. Absolutely beautiful. This is, this reminds me of the kind of house when I was a nanny that I lived in. Nice office, TV up on the wall. Another angle of the office. Sunroom. Beautiful, massive bedrooms. Look at that bathroom. Jacuzzi. Maybe we could stay there for a night. <laughs> Look at that bedroom. That's so cool. Gym. Games room. Beautiful patio with a hot tub. Pool. That's it. That Oh, that's not even wishful thinking. That's just somebody's beautiful home. I wonder if they're away. That's why they rent it as a B&B. &B. But um, let's see, what was it? A, a night? 1,200. 1,260 a night. If I check in on the 11th and I check out on the 31st, it would... Oh, I'm getting a, a weekly stay discount. It would only cost me 29 grand. Not too shabby. Absolutely beautiful, but <coughs> not realistic. Okay, so I decided let's do another search for apartments in this area. Two bedrooms, obviously one for Ash and one for myself, pet friendly. $4,750 a month, $3,900 a month. Forty-one hundred a month, thirty-five ninety a month, four thousand six hundred twenty-five, three thousand three hundred thirty-seven, five thousand five seventy-five, three thousand two eighty-five. Now these are just two bedrooms in apartment buildings, not even houses, not townhouses, nothing. These are in big apartments. And from here all the way up to Yonkers, Bronxville, etc. Um, 4,500, 3,052, 3,200, 2,900 for one in New Rochelle in a tall building. 3,100, what does that mean? Income restricted. Um, 3,400, 5,400, 3,900. Like I said, one and two bedrooms in this area, all the way up to the hospital. Actually, no, all the way up to Mohegan Lake, which is like an hour from here. All up in the high threes to mid fives to sixes. So, I mean, yeah, it's not for lack of trying, guys. Two months, I'd be spending seven grand seven grand could get me three months rent um yeah i don't know i don't know it's just so frustrating because i want to find a gem that just falls into place it and when i say a gem i don't mean it has to be a palace i just mean it has to be clean um dog friendly and you know two bedrooms it's so sad <laughs> I just don't know what to do anymore. How far is Mohegan Lake? Oh, we're all the way down here. Um, so we're down in this area and Mohegan Lake's all the way up here. Not easy. Not easy. Okay, we're packing up the plates and stuff. These were also an engagement gift from Pete's mom and dad. Luna, I'm very, very stressed. I've been looking again online. I can't find anywhere for us, buddy. I don't know what we're gonna do. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end it. It's seven o'clock. Um, it's been a long day today. There's been a lot going on. I've been packing up dishes and kitchen stuff. Pete came over. I had to speak my piece about something. 
Um, he left. I had some five Avon customers. Thank you, Alexa. One more time. There we go. Sue, so, reach out. Here's your reminder. Yes, reach out to five different customers. Do I even have makeup left? I don't think so. It's been a very emotional afternoon. I got myself into a tizzy and uh, it just went from there. And of course, when Pete walked in, I was all like red and blur. <laughs> What's up? What do you think? <laughs> What's up? Oh, anyway, he'll be back tomorrow. I, think, I don't think he's coming back today. So I said to Ash and I were just talking about some stuff and I cried myself into a wonderful headache. So I'm gonna drink my coffee, get that caffeine in there, and then we'll go down and decide on dinner. But I've done all I'm doing for today. Um, it's just been one of those days that you just have to put down to, at least it's over. And I'm still standing. There we go. I am still standing better than I ever did. <laughs> Don't even know the words. Anyway, I hope you've all had a brilliant, brilliant Thursday. Whatever it is you did today, I hope it was a good one. And we'll definitely see you tomorrow. Take care, guys. Stay safe. And if you haven't, please subscribe.